Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some beautiful pink moon resin coasters and we're going to be using resin foils so let's jump in and get started um, this is my coaster mold here you can get these off amazon i'll link them down below i just went in with one ounce of clear hitting it with my heat gun to pop bubbles and for this layer i'm using the platinum 360 resin from laura's art corner and this is my resin foil these are images that come printed on craft plastic you can get them off etsy i'll link them down below they come on a sheet and it's the same size as like regular printer paper eight and a half by 11 and you just cut around the image that you want to use and then you're ready to cast it in your resin pieces so I just lay it down with the iridescent side facing um, where the top of the coaster is going to be and then I just take my finger and push that down and I really like using these because most of the image is clear so you can see if there's any air bubbles trapped under there and if you see an air bubble just take Take your gloved finger, push on that air bubble, and it'll push out to the side of the foil. Then you can go in with your heat gun and pop it. But actually, usually um, just pushing on it with your finger will pop the bubble on its own. I just went in with a little bit more clear because um, I wanted to make sure that the back side of that image was completely covered with resin. And that's it. We're going to make another one here. Same thing. One ounce of clear. I'm going to go in with my heat gun to pop bubbles and then drop down the resin foil. And I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, I will link my holographic crystal tutorial down below in the description box be sure to go check it out I show you step by step how to mix your resin so I'm just dropping down my resin foil and when I drop these down I kind of like to do like a taco shape and hit the middle on the resin first and then let the sides kind of go down onto the resin I found that you get less bubbles that way I'm just making sure that there's no bubbles trapped under the image making sure that the back side is completely covered with resin and that's going to be it for layer one super simple and easy to make these now we're going to mix up some glitter to fill the molds up the rest of the way i'm going to use this pink candy glitter from laura's art corner it's a super sparkly gorgeous pink and it kind of has a blue undertone to it which is really pretty and I'm going to drop down a few drops of this pink alcohol ink by pinata just to kind of build up that pink a little bit I'm going to give it a good mix and then we'll be ready to fill our molds up the rest of the way and um, for this layer I'm actually using the total boat tabletop epoxy I'll link it down below along with my coupon code and this these coasters are actually dedicated to my dear friend Luann she actually just released her first novel or it's actually coming out on Earth Day and it's called Once in a Pink Moon. So I was making these coasters for her to kind of celebrate her accomplishment, her amazing accomplishment of publishing her first book and I'm going to link it down below. She's actually offering an advanced reader's copy if any of you guys want to check it out and read it for free and um, leave her some feedback. That would be wonderful if you like to read. Definitely check out her novel. So I'm just filling the mold up now, the rest of the way, going to go in with, in the blue mold, I used two ounces, and in the uh, kind of hexagon shaped mold or the diamond edge molds, I used four ounces. This mold's pretty big, it takes five ounces to fill up completely. Let it dry. Uh, I did hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles, let them dry overnight, and here we are ready to demold them. You can see how beautiful they turned out, and the pink really pops on a darker background. So what I'm going to do is actually take some black acrylic paint and just paint the back side of the coaster with some paint and then seal that with some Mod Podge so that glitter really pops. And then I'll just attach a cork backing after that paint and Mod Podge is all dry, and then the coaster will be good to go. But you can see I kind of showed how it looks on white, pretty transparent, so I'm just gonna add that black paint to really make that glitter pop. And um, this one here is actually my favorite. I really, really love the image on this one. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments. I hope you give resin foils a try. I'll be sure to link all the materials I used down below in the description box, along with any coupon codes that I have. 
And if you like to read, definitely check out my friend's new novel she released, Once in a Pink Moon. I'll link that down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. Helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.